by my fellow church warden Jane at the nine o'clock service this morning in St Peter's. Appointment of team rector at St Peter's Limpsfield for Limpsfield and Tatsfield team ministry by the Bishop of Southwark. We are pleased to announce today, the 1st of November 2020, that the Reverend Helen Cook Presently, non stipendiary minister of Red Hill, St Matthew, in the Diocese of Southwark, has been appointed team rector of St Peter's Limpsfield for Limpsfield and Tatsfield team ministry, subject to completion of the necessary procedures. Further details regarding the licensing service will follow in due course. So many congratulations, Helen, and we look forward to your ministry at St Peter's and in the wider team in the years to come. Good morning and welcome to our All Saints service. We're going to begin with our opening hymn, which is We Are Marching in the Light of God.
in the name of the God who made us, who loves us, and who gives us life. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. We turn back to God. We take time to remember those times when we have turned away from loving God, our neighbours and ourselves. We have not always worshipped God, our Creator. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. We have not always followed Christ, our Saviour. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. We have not always trusted in the Spirit, our guide. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. God, who is both power and love, forgive you and free you from your sins, heal and strengthen you by his Spirit, and raise you to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. your glory is proclaimed in every age as we rejoice in the faith of your saints inspire us to follow their example with boldness and joy through jesus christ our lord amen, amen. and our gradual hymn this morning is be still for the presence of the lord
here. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him, then began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, and they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. Blessed are those who persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed, blessed, blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against your falsely on thy account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven in heaven for the same for in the same way as they persecuted the prophets who worked for you this is the gospel of the lord praise to you O christ and so of course today is the feast day of all saints the day when we remember all those great saints that have gone before us people like saint peter who this church is named after and in fact on whom the Christian Church was founded. Also perhaps people like St Francis of Assisi who having heard the call of God gave up all his wealth, all his riches and served the poor and creation as well. Or one of my own favourites, St Columba who having made a great error of judgment then went on to repent, to seek God's forgiveness and to travel the world proclaiming the love of Christ to others. But those are the saints that have gone before us. What about the modern saints? What about the saints of today? I remember a few years ago, just prior to my ordination for ministry, I was on a retreat and it was led by the very Reverend Andrew Nunn, the Dean of Southwark Cathedral. And he asked a very pertinent question. He said, if you were to meet five people in heaven who had influenced your ministry, who would they be? And I'd like to ask you a similar question today. If there were five people in the world that you would like to be sainted, who would they be? Have a think about it, write down their names. They can be people that you know personally, or people that you just know of through the media or in other ways. People perhaps that um, have just gone by in history, um, never really been recognised, but people that you think were fit to be sainted. Write down their names, but also write down why you think they should be sainted. What is that that makes them saint-like? And I'm going to guess that the people that you write down will be people who you think through their character and through their work are fit for that title. If I were just to tell you about one of my five, I would tell you about my former priest, Father Andrew Cunnington. He would be extremely, extremely embarrassed to know that he was the one getting a mention. But I've never met a more humble, kind, generous man who worked tirelessly for the Lord and really without very much recognition at all. He did it not because it was a, a job, but because it was simply who he was. And he still does, in fact, do that. Our Lord said to us that the first commandment is this that we love the Lord our God with all our heart, with all our soul, and with all our mind. And that needs to be manifested in our lives if we are also to fulfil the second commandment, which is to love our neighbour. 
When I was hungry and on the streets, you gave me some food. When I was caught up in a drought in Africa, you gave me a drink. When creation was falling apart because we were misusing it, you campaigned for justice and for creation to be preserved. In all those, and in many other ways, we too are called to be saints for Christ. Amen. And so for our creed. We believe in God the Father, Father from, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we pray for the church and the world. On this All Saints Day, may we thank you for all the saints around us. All the people have thought of others before themselves. Lord, in your abundant love, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for Christians throughout the world. Make us strong and able to stand up for our faith at this challenging time. Let us remember to always act in love. We pray for our current way of worshipping, together in this building and at home online, for this opportunity to reach a new congregation, that they may find strength, comfort and hope. We pray for Helen as she prepares to lead St Peter's and the team ministry. Lord, in your abundant love, Hear our prayer. We pray for anyone who is in any kind of need, the sick, the lonely and the frightened. Help us to stay safe in body and mind. Help those living with financial difficulties and those facing losing their livelihoods. Lord, in your abundant love, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for all who have died and all the saints in heaven. Help and comfort all those who mourn. Lord, in your abundant love, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Finally, Lord, we pray for a solution to this pandemic. Lord, in your abundant love, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. And so for the peace. We are fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God through Christ our Lord who came and preached peace to those who were far off and those who were near. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. And so in our hearts and in our minds we offer one another a sign of the peace. And our next hymn this morning is sung by the Contra Covids and it is Alleluia, Alleluia, raise the gospel over the earth.
His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is right to praise you, Father, Lord of all creation. In your love you made us for yourself. When we turned away, you did not reject us, but came to meet us in your Son. You embraced, embraced us as, as your children, children and, and welcomed us, us to sit and eat with you. you. In Christ you shared our life, that we might live in him and he in us. He, he opened, opened his arms of love upon the cross and made for all the perfect sacrifice for sin. On the night he was betrayed at supper with his friends, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His body is the bread of life. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His blood is shed for all. As we proclaim his death and celebrate his rising to glory, Send your Holy Spirit that this bread and this wine may be to us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy gifts, make us one in Christ our risen Lord. With the whole church throughout the world, we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise, and lift our voice to join the eternal song of heaven. Forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though, Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. source of all holiness and giver of all good things 
May we who have shared at this table as strangers and pilgrims here on earth be welcomed with all your saints to the heavenly feast of the day of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We say together, Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. And so for the notices, well the first thing I need to say of course is that I am absolutely delighted to have been appointed team rector and vicar to this church. I can't tell you what a privilege it feels and my commitment is to serve not only each one of you but also uh, the wider community. Um, so thank you and thank you for all the messages of support that I received just prior to the interview as well. They were all very gratefully received. This afternoon, getting back to business, is our um, annual All Souls service. Unfortunately, this year, for obvious reasons, we're not able to meet in the church, but we have recorded a service which will be going out at 4pm. So do please uh, join us for that. And next Sunday will be our Remembrance service, and that will be going out uh, at 10.30 in the morning on our usual Facebook page and will also be uploaded to YouTube as well. But also there will be our normal 9am service in church as well. Thank you. Jesus, fill your hearts, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with each one of you this day and always. Amen. Amen. And so let's go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. In, in the, the name, name of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. Time to sing your song. 